Okay. So, I've been thinking why not add multiplayer to the entire project? And uh, yeah, you can see it's pretty slow because it's back to the tick rate of the server. So, let's jump to the server. Okay. So, the characters move. They now have a turn in place animation. And they have proper jump, land, the. Uh, sword position is uh, based on the IK and it's uh, related to the animation itself, how it was made and it was made really good when it comes to Kubalt mock-up animations, they're amazing uh, Landing is root motion, so you can adjust bunny hop, you will always stop when you jump and now you have a proper uh, combo attacks so with uh, left mouse button I can start my first attack and at the end of the attack it resets, so I can do it again however I have an input buffer that allows me to go from first attack right to the second attack first one and second and you can see that uh, bit, um, or maybe here that between my second click and the actual attack there's a small uh, time frame and that is because of how it is being set up and you see the Everything in this new combat component that, that I will be obviously shipping for free and yes, it is multiplayer ready uh, All everything that is happening here. You don't have to worry about that You don't have to set up anything and you can have infinite number of combos that branch into infinite number of combos you could make uh, easily Soul Calibur or Devil May Cry or you know Tekken game based on this system without a sweat and everything you have to do is just set up proper notification you just have a, a notification to set up tag of input that is pegged to a montage uh, then there is the combat buffer and the buffer works that at this frame it allows you to buffer attack input and at the end of it it is executing the buffered input so you can make the input buffer small you can add another input buffer for for example light attack and a second one for heavy attack um, or you could have multiple buffers so if you hit cancel at this point you will do a vault backward but if you hit attack at this point you will do something else so yeah you can do that and you can set up what will be the next action depending on the input here and you can set up this multiple times and then you are just allowing inputs at certain uh, points and then you are executing whatever got uh, buffered if it was valid so yeah and then at the end you always have to just set up this reset combo but there is obviously a fail save that if this never triggers because for example this montage was uh, overwritten by something else let's make this window higher um, then it will reset anyway and I am working hard on those uh, notifications to give them as much flexibility as possible and for them to be as easy to set up as possible and um, yeah that, that and everything is multiplayer and uh, looks pretty good like attack attack and then it reset and I can attack and I can attack I can spam the button and I will do as fast as I attacks as I can that is allowed by my input buffer and I cannot attack in air however I could have a different combos that are in air uh, than those that are on the ground and I would just have a different input buffer for ground attacks and different for buffer for air attacks and I will definitely uh, try it out and show you the results the character can also sprint while looking always forward and he doesn't use a offset when attacking because because I didn't want him to be able to turn while attacking 
But yeah, it's, it's getting along quite well and I will make uh, three character classes and allow players to uh, play on multiplayer. So as soon as I finish with this example, I will obviously post it online and we can play together in this little game. Because why not? Uh, see you guys soon.